Hey, it's Josh, and I was supposed to get married next month, but that's not happening anymore. How are you? This marriage thing has been such a roller coaster, it is ridiculous. Hi, it's been a hot minute, as the kids say. Am I allowed to say that? I don't think so. Also, I'm not sure if you can tell, but just before shooting this video, I walked into the medicine cabinet. We have two medicine cabinets on top of each other. The doors are like together. So I grabbed the bottom of the top one instead of the top of the bottom one, thinking I was opening the bottom medicine cabinet as I was walking forward, but I was opening the top medicine cabinet and walked right into it. And yet that's not the worst thing that's happened to me today. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna leave a bump. Anyway, if you're not familiar, check out my previous video about how we got denied at a resort in Puerto Vallarta to get married there because we're gay. And then the Hilton Puerto Vallarta came to our rescue to give us the wedding of our dreams in April. And then coronavirus came to take it all away. Now, unlike the last situation where people were like, oh my gosh, Josh, I can't believe this is happening to you. And they could really empathize with me. Now everyone's going through this sort of thing together. So I think they can really sympathize with me. I mean, maybe your wedding's not being canceled, but you probably have other crap you're having to deal with as the days go on with this insane time. So pretty much everything was set for us to get married in almost exactly a month from today. And uh, we had 43 people coming, I guess. So 45 total, including us. And we were excited and everybody was looking forward to it. And we were just ready to finally get married. And then a few days ago, Heath's sister who lives in Italy was like, I can't leave anymore. We're all basically under quarantine. It's like lockdown and I won't be able to go to the wedding. And that really sucked. And then the next day Heath's aunt texted him and was like, hey, we're getting worried if we should still be doing this. But we thought, no, we're still okay. Like they're not saying you can't travel to Mexico. So let's still go forward with this. And then the next day, the government here said, you should not leave for anything that's not completely necessary. And if you do, you'll have to come back and be under self quarantine for two weeks. So at that point we realized we can't really be asking our guests to put themselves in self-isolation for two weeks upon returning from like a one week vacation because that's a bit much to ask probably. And then today even the government said any Canadians who are abroad need to get home ASAP if you still want to be able to get home. Like they're apparently looking at possibly closing the border. By the time I upload this video, maybe they have. Things are escalating so quickly. I can't even imagine what the situation is like while you're watching this video compared to me sitting here telling you about it right now. So our trip, to Puerto Vallarta next month, including our wedding, has been called off. And in about a week and a half from now, I was supposed to go to Las Vegas for my bachelor party. My best friend Mary got us flights and a hotel and like front row seats to the RuPaul Drag Race show that's there. That was gonna be my big stag weekend. That of course is off. Heath still got to go to his bachelor party. It's happening right now, that's where he is. Uh, he's just with a couple friends on an island here in BC. So you know, he can still travel there without worry. And he's just changed the name of it to his pity party instead of his bachelor party. So the plan is still to get married eventually, just obviously not right now. And we don't know when this coronavirus is going to leave us alone. So at this point, we're looking at about six months from now. We are aiming for the fall. We don't want to make it any sooner because it's going to be real hot in the summer in Mexico. And also we don't want to chance having to postpone it a second time. I mean, people are booking off time from work, making arrangements for their pets and their kids and like whatever else they got going on in life, making all their plans. We only want to postpone this once. In fact, we didn't want to postpone it at all. So we're looking at waiting until the fall, probably October. Weather should be very similar to April's weather. And we just have to wait it out, like most everyone. I mean, it is what it is. I can't expect major sympathy because everybody's going through all kinds of hardships right now over this. In fact, if you want to let me know how this is affecting you in the comments below, maybe that'll make me feel better. Misery loves company. Because I'm sure some of you have kids that are going to have to be home for two weeks or some of you maybe are losing your jobs even. I mean, this is, this is like next level stuff, which I'm sure you're well aware of. It's just a lot. And also I'm not necessarily thinking straight because I walked into a medicine cabinet. Oh my gosh, it hurt. <laughs> you know, it's just like when you get knocked when you're down, like I just feel like I just keep getting knocked.
and I'm still dealing with this teeth issue, which I will get into in another video because it's just like nightmare. I just, I have a lot of things that have been on my mind lately, uh, which is why I haven't, well, it's not really why I haven't made a YouTube video in a while. It's part of it. I've just been living my life a lot more offline so far this year, which has been great until we got to a point where now people are getting afraid to go out in public and makes it very difficult to be social. So luckily the Hilton's being very understanding, even though there's no issue in Mexico, they're like, we see what your government's saying and doing. And so we understand, and yes, we will just postpone. And so will all our vendors. So we're so grateful to them and we're just figuring everything out. And luckily most of our guests so far have said that they should be fine with doing it in October. And in fact, given that it's six months away and just the date, in April didn't work for everyone, so we couldn't have everyone there that we wanted to. Maybe we can actually have even more people there than we expected at, in April, come in October. So maybe that'll be a bright side. Like maybe years down the road, we'll be like, wow, like thank goodness for the coronavirus. I don't know that we'll say that, but you know, we'll be grateful for the positives of people who were able to join us who wouldn't have been able to in April, maybe. Other bright sides are my teeth should be ready by then, so that'll be good. I mean, you probably can't really tell with this sort of setup, but I'm very self-conscious about them. I just didn't want my wedding photos with them, and because I have this tray on them, it makes it very difficult to eat, and it's just not the thing that I wanted at this all-inclusive resort. Uh, what else is the bright side? My hair. My hair isn't really where I want it to be, so I'll have my hair where I want it to be. Where do I want my hair? I just, I have like a style in mind and it's just not quite grown out to that. And turns out, shock and surprise, not all $12 barber cuts are good. So I had one that kind of botched my hair and now I'm fixing that. Uh, maybe I can get my body even to more of a place where I want it to be for my wedding. I mean, my body's fine, but it's just, you know, fine doesn't do it on your wedding day. Other bright side is that we didn't plan it for March. Cause imagine if <laughs> we had been planning to go like yesterday or the day before or today, like that would have been a disaster. My brother is actually in Australia right now. So we're getting a bit worried about him getting back and my parents are in the US. So we're a bit worried about them getting back. It's crazy, bizarre, unusual times. And yeah, I'm just giving you an update because my last videos were about the wedding, the down and then the up, and now we're just back to a down. So I guess only way to go is up. So that's it. How you doing? Let me know in the comments below and uh, just wash your hands. It's like the standard goodbye greeting now is wash your hands. No more like, see you later. Talk to you soon. Wash your hands. 2020. What a year. And it's March.